So now in this video, we're going to look at another AND gate. This time, we're going to use NPN bipolar junction transistors. I did find the uh, two N3904s that I was looking for earlier, and uh, we're going to use them again. The uh, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, I don't know why I picked that value. This is an old uh, diagram I'm reusing, but uh, a wide range of resistor values should work here. That helps set the voltage to the output. The uh, actual voltage will be set by uh, if one or two of these transistors are on. So if they're both off, the output will be off. If we turn one on, or the other one on, or both of them on, as you can see in the truth table, both off, the output's off. Uh, if one of them's on, or the other one, or all of them, in this case there's two, then the output will be on. And uh, so uh, wide range of values of resistors should work there. But in uh, any case, you can see here we have a current path through that transistor if it's on, to the uh, output it is an emitter follower though and so you're going to get that diode drop so it'll be about 0 0.6 0 0.7 volts less than the supply voltage we're going to use 5 volts i'm going to light an led with the 220 ohm resistor protecting it we also have this path if that transistor is on and if both of them are on we'll both have a we'll have uh, two connections going to the same spot though and uh, they'll both have a 0 0.6 volt uh, diode drop so again we'll have the supply voltage minus a 0.6 volt diode drop. So now, zooming in, so we can uh, do our build, we have the uh, two transistors here. So you can see both of them connect to the positive supply. I already have uh, jumpers positioned, and again, I did find the uh, two N3904s. I have them in a separate uh, bag that I misplaced, but I found them. So that was an earlier video. So left pin is the emitter, middle pin's base, right pin's the collector. Any NPN bipolar junction transistor will work. Some of them have a different pin layout though. But if it's 2N for the very first uh, number and letter, then and it's a bipolar junction transistor, that's probably the pin layout. So we'll swivel it this way. Now the emitter's towards the bottom and the collector on top, base in the middle. So we're gonna put the collector to the positive rail and the emitter I'm gonna put to this gray jumper. As you can see, the two emitters are connected to each other, and ultimately, they're both connected to each other, but uh, to the positive supply. So again, emitter left, base middle, collector top, and I uh, will set that right there, and that's it for the transistors. So now, turning the transistors on, we're going to saturate them or not saturate them by closing the switch or leaving the switch open, but we just need a small base uh, current. So we'll grab 10 kilo ohm resistors here, and we're going to put that to the uh, side of the switch that's not to the uh, supply side and then to the middle pin of the transistor, the base right there and I uh, should be able to see that already, I'm actually off a spot right there there we go and uh, so bottom of the switch to the base of the transistor pressing this button connects all four together and we're going to do the same thing over here with uh, this switch we're going to control each one of them with a different switch. Let's uh, zoom in. So there we go, middle pin to the base, and then the uh, other side of the 10 kilo ohm resistor to that side of the switch. Now, we already have the emitters connected by that jumper. We're gonna take this emitter resistor, and again, I drew this diagram for a different circuit. I don't know why exactly at 4.7K, probably just because that was already on the board. But in uh, any case, this is uh, gonna be a good value to use right there. Now, we're done wiring up our circuitry right there, but we can't see what's going on. So we might as well add a load. I'm gonna take a 220 ohm resistor, since we're gonna deal with five volts, and uh, plug one side to the emitter there. And I have an LED here. Long lead the anode goes to the resistor, short lead the cathode goes to that jumper right there. And now it is off, even though the power supply is on. And uh, we'll zoom back a little bit and you can see no current flowing at least not enough for it to register you press that button you get nine milliamps of current press that button you get nine milliamps of current and you can press both of them and it looks like we may have a spec more we do have a little bit of current going through each of those resistors uh right now so there is a tad bit more current but it was probably really close to uh, 10 milliamps anyways as you can see there but uh that's your gate you can press that button or turn that uh switch on I should say turn that switch on the LED turns on or you can turn all of them on like that that's the OR gate so hope you enjoyed the video make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting click like subscribe the bell 
all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. I have links to that and other links down in the description. So make sure you check that out from time to time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.